Okay, hello. I like this article because it pretty much tells you everything we've been trying to figure out and piece together over the past couple years. Right? So, spectacular collision of suns will create new star and night sky in 2022. This is, this is pretty much it. You know, CERN, the large, large Hadron Collider. You know, let there be light. The collision, the bang, the big bang, the new star, the fall, all this stuff we've been trying to piece together. And I think there's going to be a bigger version of this before 2022 with Saturn and Cassini and all that stuff we've talked about. And, you know, I don't know about if this stuff really happened whenever they said it did, but it's just, it's just all a representation and metaphor of what's about to take place and is taking place right now. So at the beginning of the 3rd century, civil war raged in Britain as the Roman Emperor Septimius Severus sought to quell unrest in the north. But unknown to the fighting cohorts and Caledonian tribes, high above their heads, two stars were coming together in a huge cataclysmic explosion. So war on the ground, war in the heavens, as above, so below. Now, 1,800 years later, the light from that collision will finally arrive on Earth, creating a new star in the night sky dubbed the Boom Star, an incredibly rare event which is usually only spotted through telescopes. You know, the Big Bang, the beginning. Before their meeting, the two stars were to be were too dim to be seen by the naked eye, but in 2022, the newly formed Red Nova will burn so brightly in the constellation Cygnus that everyone will be able to see it. So here's your three. Here's your nine or your six, and here's your six or your nine. So it even has right here for everybody to see the 369 Saturn Sun Moon system that we're currently in. And if you see the news they're talking about all the time with Donald Trump going into the presidency, which to me, Trump is short for Trump, it's a revelation, which is all, even the Economist magazine cover showed that judgment, the revelation in the Bible when all this is supposed to take place. And whenever this happens, there's going to be a new power system. It's going to be wired differently, I think, anyway, which is why they're always saying on the news the transition of power, because the power system is currently in transition because it's about to change. But this is it, the collision of suns. It's the real Star Wars. And it's funny, they talk about this, well, they post this on January 6th, right after New Year's, right? So because the fireworks on the 4th of July and the ball dropping on New Year's Eve, it's all representation of this. The collision, the fall of light, the fall. This is the real Star Wars. It happens every day. Inside, outside, too. As above, uh, as above so below, also inside, outside. So every day, every morning, the S-O-N sun, Jesus of Nazareth, light rises. And every day, the S-U-N sun sets. Darkness, right? And Set is the guy who runs around and chops dicks off. That's Saturn. The Egyptian god Set is just the Canaanite version of Moloch. Moloch is sacrifice, sacrifice Saturn. It's Saturn. It's the whole. It's it's the whole thing. It's the real Star Wars. It's the Morning Star versus the sad clown face. I got evicted. Morning Star. Oh my! Match of the century. Who's gonna win? Get your tickets now. That's why Jesus Christ, superstar, right? So I kind of like that article. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, I'll put it below. I think that's everything I wanted to say in this one. Mm, yeah, I think it's something I'll put in the comments or something. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks to my subscribers.